Greetings and welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira. And with us today, Cocoa Pebbles with Cinnamon. I love all the Pebbles bars. If you've never tried them, you should definitely give them a whirl. They're not just another crappy knockoff or like some cash grab. They're really good chocolate and usually whatever other flavor. I know there's one that's just chocolate, which is pretty good. And then there is the birthday cake one, which is, whoa, man. Or maybe it's the other way around. The, the review for this one is right there, and then uh, the other one's up there as well. So if you want to check out those other reviews for the Pebbles candy bars, you can find them there in the tabs, tabulation, whatever you call those things. I can't remember what they call them. It used to be nice when you could just put an image on the screen and just put a link and link it to it. But I guess you have to monetize to be able to have access to that. And because we're just a little fish in a very large pond, we're not quite there yet. 800 more people. Come on. Hop on board. Help me help me help me gather the masses and hopefully, you know, make a little world <laughs> make a real run at this. Okay. So today we have this, but interestingly enough, given time tomorrow and Friday, I have two more chocolate videos coming out. Tomorrow I plan on doing the Queen Anne Cherry Cola versus the French Vanilla. These are flavors that I don't know if I've had both of these before, but we'll give them a whirl and see if they're any good. I like the original. I like the dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I don't care. They're pretty good. This time of year, that makes me feel like Christmas. That and Chex Mix. I like having Chex Mix around. And then later on, on Friday, first of all, this is just kind of neat because this is the National Lampoon's um, Christmas uh, vacation bar. And this is the Peppermint Bark Bar. These are both made by Palmer, and that is the actual reason why I bought these. And I will be buying at least one or two more other products. Definitely the gold coins, because that's just classic. Uh, and then hopefully another, maybe like a white chocolate Palmer. And I know I've been shitting all over them, but I'm going to give them a chance this Friday to redeem themselves and see if they can make a comeback in my mouth. Making a comeback in my mouth. Making a comeback in my mouth. I'm heading south. I already did. Okay. Let's bust into this. Let's give it a first smell. Um, I grew up eating and, well, I grew up watching the Flintstones. When I used to get ready for school in the morning, I would say there was a 75% chance that Flintstones was on the TV when I was a younger kid. Before, you know, G.I. Joe's and Transformers, but those were usually after school cartoons. This, these guys, they were always on. Uh, Any time of day, you could catch the Flintstones. And I used to, it was just a, a wholesome, you know, I'm sure it's very racist and very sexist and misogynistic at this point in history if we go back and watch it. But at the time, growing up on it, it made me laugh, you know? The things that they would get into, their kids would get into. When the kids came in, eh, it was all downhill from there. But before then, good cartoon. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give this a smell. See if we can smell the cinnamony goodness of the chocolate. Chocolatey, minty cinnamon. Cement. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can smell the cinnamon. Not on the bottom, on the top, though. Weird. Crazy. Freak out. Yeah. Wow. Dig it. I don't know what my obsession with the Macho Man has become lately. I really want to get one of those purple macho man you've got glasses on the front you know the one from the 80s if you grew up on 80s uh wrestling wwf at the time um let's give a little bite these, these things are funky they're not as easy to break as like um a nestle's or a hershey's or whatever you're into their lines the the center line's not bad but there's really you know if, unless you want a giant chunk i don't even want all of this that's a lot of a lot of chocolate in the morning i haven't had anything Ooh, i could go with a four there let's go with two little pieces and see how it is I should have just eaten half of that one. There's something really dense about that chocolate. Fudgy in nature, but not quite fudge. It's thick and girthy in your mouth. It's not like... Perfect example, I was talking about Hershey's earlier. Not Hershey's. Nestle's. If you ever had a Nestle's chocolate bar, you get that outer edge. It's a little thicker inside but there's still like a plasticiness to it snapping and it's chewing not that i i don't like nestle i like nestle products this chocolate's better this company kirkland i think it is no frankford anywho 
Post and Frankfurt got together and they made a baby and the baby was delicious and we all ate the baby and we smiled as we ate the baby. <laughs> Don't eat babies, kids. That's a good candy bar. The chocolate's still there from the original Cocoa Pebbles. The cinnamon's a nice little added twist there. It's not a ton of it. I don't know if I want more or if that's just enough. Like, I'd love to get a piece that had a little bit too much. I think that's where it is. So I'm going to give it an 8.5. This is a fantastic candy bar. If you see it, don't doubt yourself. Grab one. If you've had the other two, you know they're good. Get Get this one, and together we can celebrate. And joyous celebration. If you love joyous celebration like I love making these videos, then you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and then hit that little bell icon. It lets you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make someone smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. That's super important. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira and this is the podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. (laughs) 